Solutions Architect has been one of the coolest and best paid jobs in the last few years. Do you want to become a Solutions Architect? I will give you in detail the strategy I used to achieve this certification. At the end of the video you will find the bonus reserves that can really help you to reach your goal. Before we dive into the main content, just a few words on the prerequisites. A lot of people ask me, do I need to know how to code in order to become a Solutions Architect? In a way, yes. and. In a way, no. For sure, having a basic coding skills will help you a lot, but I don't think it's 100% necessary in order to start. During your journey, you will probably learn the basics of a language like Python or JavaScript, but just because it is so useful in our job and it isn't rocket science, everyone can learn it. Also, since you will work with software engineers, having at least readability in a couple of the major programming languages will help you to communicate a lot better with your team. Last but not least, using infrastructure as a code will require coding. You can use SAM or Terraform SDK with your preferred programming language. I started my journey in the cloud with the cloud practitioner and the developer associate. So when I decided to take also the Solutions Architect Associate certification, I already had a clear strategy. Now I will describe that strategy step by step. Currently, the Solutions Architect exam is composed of 65 multiple choice questions and you have 130 minutes. You can find all the details about the certification in the description below. But before you read the official exam guide, wait until the end of this video. First of all, you need to set the goal. This was my timeline and I decided to invest more or less 15 hours per week. I also decided to keep track of everything on Google Calendar in order to have better visibility of my progress. Also, I had the Notion page with milestone upgrades and it is quite useful to see in retrospect what went well and what didn't. Once you created your goal, the most important thing in my opinion is to choose the best instructor. Personally, I really like Stefan Marek. On its Udemy profile, you can find a lot of courses which are definitely worth the price. You can buy the Solutions Architect Associate course and start from there. Another great instructor is Neil Davis. Check their courses and choose the one you like most. At the same time, you need to create an AWS account. You will make a lot of practice, but no worries because thanks to the free tire, you will spend no money. Another resource I think you should study is the Solutions Architect Handbook. I suggest you to read this one in parallel with your course. Inside this book, you will find a lot of useful content and you can also try to replicate a few architecture examples on your AWS account. Hey, before we continue, stop for a second. I need to ask you something. All this YouTube stuff for me is a new experiment. I want to learn how to communicate better online. So I would really appreciate the feedback on this and the other contents of this channel. You can write me a comment down below and if you are learning something new thanks to this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. This shows me that I'm going to the right direction. Back to the video. After finishing the course you bought, you should be able to take a few mock exams. Usually, one mock exam is included in your Udemy course at the end. My advice here is to create a spreadsheet with two columns, date and score, and track every attempt. This will help you to evaluate how much you are improving yourself and how far you are from your goal. Since each exam has a minimum score to be passed, be sure to be prepared before you book it. On Udemy, you can buy a lot of mock exams. When I was studying for the Solutions Architect certification, I bought three of them. In each Udemy, course, you will find more or less six practical tests. So if you buy three of them, you will have 18 mock exams to test your skills. Of course, you can choose how many mock exams you want to buy, but the more you test yourself before the actual exam, the better it is. If you follow all my advices and you study for 15 up to 20 hours per week, you should be able to get the certification in more or less one month. Of course, this also depends a lot on your starting point. If you are a web developer with a lot of experience and already hands-on experience on AWS, this will be way easier. If you are now starting from scratch, my advice is to breathe, relax, take your time, you will learn a lot of new concepts, so don't rush. The goal of this certification is to prove your abilities, so please take some time to study in depth the theory and make a lot of practice and eventually you will succeed with your certification goal. Before we jump off, I promised you a bonus free resource. If you send me a connection on LinkedIn with a message asking for it, I will send you a free copy of all my exam notes. As you may see, there is a lot of stuff here and I hope you will find them useful. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.